okay this object is clearly accelerating because you can see this gradient at this part is quite shallow while over here it's quite steep means its speed has increased but we can't just use the formula uh, at v equals s over t because it's accelerating so if you remember you can't use that equation how can we describe this one of the things we can do is we can use the average velocity which is the total distance traveled over that period of time divided by the time it takes for example in this case the person has did 240 meters divide that by 50 seconds so he was moving at 4.8 meters per second on average of course at the very beginning he must be moving much more slowly and at the very end he must be moving much more uh, quickly but how do we work out the speed at any point in time so what we do if i want to figure out the speed at this point here i'd have to draw something called a tangent which is basically a line that just touches and has the same gradient as that point so you can see i've got that the steepness at that point by drawing this line which just just about touches it once i've got that you can uh, figure out the gradient by using change in y divided by change in x for example in this case i'm trying to figure out the gradient and therefore the velocity at point y okay so i'm going to do change in y divided by change in x which is going to give me the velocity so the change in displacement 192 minus 52 so change in y divided by change in x so it's, it's at 50 so it's over here so you can point to here minus 30 which gives me seven meters per second so you can see at that point in y he was moving quite fast but obviously if we try to if you try to figure out x you're probably moving less than um, that you're probably moving less than 4.5 like we discovered before the best way to draw a tangent is to use a, a really big triangle that means you get a more uh, more likely get an accurate answer